Today we're going to visit with South Central Fisheries Supervisor Paul Bailey. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Paul, explain the South Central District. Well, basically I'm responsible for the fisheries management in the South Central kind of sixth of North Dakota. So kind of centered around the, the Bismarck area, all of our prairie lakes kind of in that region, as well as the kind of the Missouri River from Stanton uh, and Lake Oahe down to the North Dakota, South Dakota border. Paul, everybody always wants to know how the fish populations are doing. Let's start with walleyes. Uh, walleyes are probably going to be the best game in town this year. We've, we've got excellent walleye opportunity uh, across the south central portion of North Dakota. I mean, some of our lakes that anglers are probably very familiar with, like Josephine, Alkaline, Rice Lake, uh, Dry Lake, you know, some of our more noteworthy, really some of our state's premier uh, prairie lake walleye fisheries all have excellent walleye opportunity in them right now. And there's literally dozens of other walleye fisheries across the south central part of the state. So I'd really encourage anglers to take some time, look at all the information we have on our website. And I think there's a lot of great opportunity that might be flying under the radar for some anglers that they might want to look into. And we have anglers, we're at the Missouri River. We have anglers out here today. Some are shore fishing. Uh, how are the populations in the river? Right, some of the, the best angling opportunity we have earliest in the year, right away in the spring in North Dakota, is the Missouri River in the, you know, from the Garrison Dam tail race down to the headwaters of Lake Oahe. Uh, our walleye fishery down there right now is dominated by smaller fish. We've had excellent natural reproduction the, the last few years, so there's a lot of those smaller fish out there. But one neat thing about this fishery is it does occasionally produce some really trophy-sized walleye. And this spring in particular, I think a lot of anglers, myself included, are really optimistic about the fishing uh, in, the, in the Missouri River right now due to the good water clarity we have. Typically in the spring, we get some high flows coming down both the knife and the uh, the Hart Rivers, which tend to really muddy up the water in the main stem of the Missouri. But this year we've got very low tributary flows, which should cause some pretty clear water to, to stick around in this stretch of river, which usually means pretty good fishing. Paul, let's move on to Northern Pike. Okay, we've got a pretty good pike opportunity out there. I wouldn't say it's quite the best it's ever been, but as far as our, our Prairie Lake pike populations go, uh, numbers have been kind of declining over the last few years given uh, the drier conditions that we've had out there. But one thing that is turning it around a little bit was the really abundant precipitation we had in the fall of 2019 led to pretty good pike reproductive success in a lot of our lakes in 2020. So uh, anglers can expect pike populations uh, to be decent now, but really uh, there's a lot to look forward to in the future as the, the really good reproductive conditions that we had in 2020 should lead to even better pike fishing a few years down the road. And there's some opportunities from trophy pike. Right, uh, most of our prairie lake pike fisheries are known for you know, producing lots of, or good numbers of pike, but maybe not fished in the, consistently in those trophy sizes. Uh, we're fortunate to have Lake Oahe in the South Central District, which it really is one of the nation's premier trophy pike fisheries. Okay, let's move on to panfish and other fish species, Paul. Uh, perch are gonna be kind of similar to our northern pike populations. Uh, our perch populations really respond to those higher water levels that we certainly had last spring, in the spring of 2020. So there's decent perch populations out there right now, but again, I think anglers can look forward to some good perch fishing uh, in the neck over the next several years as the good perch reproduction we saw occur in 2020 leads to good fishing uh, in this three, four, five years down the road. Um, any other fish species, Paul? Uh, one, one really underutilized fish species in North Dakota is our catfish, especially in the Missouri River and Lake Oahe. So I definitely encourage anglers to take advantage of those fish that uh, they're good to eat, they're fairly easy to catch uh, from both the boat and from shore, and they can be an awful lot of fun, especially in the heat of summer when maybe our walleye fishing doesn't tend to be quite as good. Anglers should, you know, that July, August time frame would be great times to, to start targeting catfish. Paul, what are some of the challenges that you're going to face in your district in the next five years? Uh, really, the, the biggest challenges we face with, with our fisheries in the south central part of the state for sure is the amount of water Mother Nature gives us. Uh, that really dictates the quality and quantity of the fisheries that we have on the landscape. So, unfortunately, as of right now in 2021, uh, we haven't had a lot of precipitation basically the last year. So, uh, fortunately, with all the precipitation we had in the fall of 19, most of our lakes went into this current dry period at pretty high lake levels, but most are now down two or three feet. 
if we go, if this dry period continues, uh, a lot of our lakes can find themselves in trouble. That'll start impacting our fish populations. Okay, other than your normal fisheries work, uh, any special projects this summer? Uh, this summer, one thing that I think anglers are really going to notice is we are doing a creel survey on the entire Missouri River system in North Dakota. So basically from the Montana-North Dakota border all the way through Lake Sakakawea, the Missouri River, into Lake Oahe to the North Dakota-South Dakota border. So uh, anglers will probably notice that and encourage anglers to you know take the minute or two to uh, stop and chat with our creel clerks that will be out there working. That provides us some great information uh, that really is essential for properly managing uh, the Missouri River System fisheries. We'll also be conducting a walleye tagging project on Rice Lake uh, in Emmons County uh, to try and get a better handle on how anglers are utilizing those fish in Rice Lake to make sure we've got appropriate regulations in place. So overall in the South Central, fishing should be good. Yep, there's a lot to be optimistic about or to look forward to in uh, this coming summer. A lot of great information, Paul. Thank you. You bet.